CataractCoach.com, a YAG laser and milky white cataracts. You can use the YAG laser before surgery to puncture the lens capsule and let out that fluid to decompress the bag. So here's the challenge. White cataracts that are intumescent, the bag is fluid filled. Shallow AC, increased intralenticular pressure. So what are the complications here? You can get the dreaded capsule run out what's called the Argentinian flag sign, where the capsule splits wide open. Here's an example. You go in there and intumescent lens with a pressurized bag and you poke it and look at that. The lens capsule splits open. It looks like an Argentinian flag. It's not what you want to see. Well, how do you prevent this? Well, how about this idea? Use a YAG laser. So we can use the YAG laser. Here's the patient. This is just prior to surgery. And we can take a look here and see. You can use the YAG laser for a single shot one millijoule right on the center lens capsule, pow. And look at the fluid escaping. Now you can see pre-YAG, look how thickened that lens is. And now you can see after doing the YAG laser, you get a release of fluid coming out of the capsule bag. And now look, you've got a deepened AC and the CLR is only 613 microns, so half of what it was before. So now again, there's the star-shaped opening from that one shot of the YAG laser. Now the bag is decompressed. Easy enough to just get your rexes done. And the risk of run out is very low now. Now this go, goes along what we learned earlier from Dr. Panat Pangputhipong. We did his podcast and we had a video two weeks ago about the same kind of concept of maybe we should rethink the way we do these. And in this case, you can see the risk of capsular run out or Argentine flag sign is basically eliminated. Now, at this point, you've got a beautiful rexus done. You can get the phaco probe in the eye, and here's that white cataract. Buzz into it, and you get a little like a vertical chop in here and separate this nucleus up into small pieces. And the rest of the case is pretty straightforward. Once you have a nice rexus, the white cataract isn't quite as challenging. So the big challenge here in these white cataracts is how do you get a controlled capsular rexus? So again, an interesting idea here. If you've got access to a YAG laser, one shot of the YAG laser, just part of surgery, maybe... 10, 20, 30 minutes, even an hour before surgery is enough to decompress that capsular bag here. And you can see after all the chopping and the pieces are small, you can just emulsify them pretty easily. And of course, this is the best miracle in all of medicine. You get a blind patient and you make them see again. Let's review the YAG again. So again, here's the YAG laser. And so you focus at one millijoule, just one shot's all you need right in the center of the lens capsule on the anterior lens capsule. Pow, one shot. And you can see there it is pre-op, CLR is 1263 microns. And then again, you can see the fluid's gonna start to leak out and you reduce that intralenticular pressure very easily. And now look, the AC's deepened, CLR is now half of what it was, 630 microns, amazing. Now this video is from a good friend, Dr. Narayan Shetty, from a great eye institute in Bangalore, India called Narayana Nathralia. And this eye institute is really quite amazing. And they put on a great meeting every year called HMV, His Master's Voice about the best in cataract refractive anterior segment surgery. I've been there the last few years in a row. I'll be there again next year, 2026. I hope to see you there. Link's gonna be down below. I encourage you to check out retinarounds.com or channel. Check out Cataract Coach.